In our last Curling I.O. tutorial, we set up our teams. So in this one, we're going to create a round robin and set up our draw schedule. So to create a round robin, first I'm going to click on the stages for one of my leagues. In case you don't know how to get there, it's under your leagues tab. Then you click on the name of the league here, and then you go to the stages tab at the top. So I'm going to create a round robin here. I'm just going to call it uh, regular season. I'm going to have one iteration. This is just how many times each team will play each other team. So how many times round robin is going to keep going round. For ranking method, I'm just going to stick with the default. Um, if you don't do ties, then you can set this to zero and then just points per win to one, for example. Um, you also have different ranking methods like skins and scores. And you also have tiebreakers like head-to-head, head-to-head -head, head -to -head that skill rank, uh, or just scores to... Uh, to break them off into their subgroups for ranking. And then over here on the right hand side are all the teams. These have automatically been assigned to me because I've already got these teams created. If I didn't though, I could still create teams um, and they would just basically be TBD. So I could set up my draw schedule before creating my teams if I wanted to and then just come back in here afterwards and sign the teams. So I think we're good to go here and I'm going to create the round robin. So this will happen as a background job, so this may take a second to create all the games. But once you have those games created, you can now set up a draw schedule. So the thir first thing you want to do here is you might not see this generate schedule yet, and that just depends on whether or not your draw schedule needs some settings defined first. So we're going to go into the change settings, just make sure that these are correct. So the number of sheets that I have, what I want to call the sheet, whether it's ice or sheet. Um, whether or not I want to say sheet 1, 2, 3 or sheet A, B, C. Um, whether or not what the interval is. So for typically like every week is what I want for this. For a bond spiel you might have every day. Um, for my draw days, I can put in multiple days here. So if my draws were like on Wednesdays and Fridays, I could put that in. And then it would know to generate um, draws for both of these days. I can also have multiple draw times, so instead of 6 p.m. I could say 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. are my draws. And the system will just know to create a draw for both 6 and 8 p.m. Uh, on every Wednesday of the week. And then I can also say which dates I want to exclude. So let's say I want to exclude Christmas. So then I'm just going to click Update Schedule. And so now I haven't actually created any draws yet. Now I can manually add them and just set up my entire draw schedule manually. But I can also try to generate it. Now generating the schedule is not perfect. It's something that will be improved over time, um, but it's a good place to get you started right now. So you'll see that we basically generate all the games have been assigned and they've all been assigned to a sheet on a specific draw. And so with, with four sheets and eight teams, every single, I don't have any buys, every single team is playing every single draw. And, uh, and I'm pretty much good at this point. However, I may want to make some tweaks because I see Rolfson playing three times on sheet D here. Um, so I may want to move him somewhere else. So what I can do is just basically delete this row or res reset this row. And I looks like he hasn't played on sheet B yet. So I'm going to go ahead and assign him here. And then I'm going to take a look at... So Hessel's played quite a bit here. I'm going to go with Mets versus Manti, and we'll go with Fell Kessel here, and Hessel versus Don Donnelly here. And so now that I've made these updates, you see it's highlighted in yellow, and the Save button is enabled. So this hasn't actually been saved yet, so this is just like a draft, and then once I'm ready, I can save it, and that will save those changes. So now this is my draw schedule. I can also delete a draw, and I can add another one back. Um, you'll notice right here that this border is red and the save button is disabled, so I can't save right now. And the reason for that is that I have a duplicate date. I have two dates that are identical. So what I really wanted this to be is the next week. It's going to be on February 12th at 6 p.m. So once I fix that, it's now yellow and I can save it again. However, I still haven't assigned my games to that, to that uh, draw. So that's what I can do here. So we're going to do... The games that are still left over and the system will automatically know which games that need to be assigned and it won't um, it won't you won't ever have the same team playing on the same sh on the same draw otherwise you will see 
um, an error pop up if you try to do that. So if I tried to assign, um, let's say I get rid of the last two draws and let's fix our date here so that it's one week away. And then if I try to assign Hessel here twice, then you'll notice that it's showing an error and it's not letting me save. So this is highlighted in red. So I have to fix these errors before I can actually completely before I can before I can continue. So we've got so I can select who I think should be playing here. So Rolfson, I believe. And then so versus Donnelly, Fell versus Casper, no. So I may have selected games from the next. Can't do Donnelly, so you see that's an error. Do we have Mets playing or Hessel? No, so that's the right one. So now I can save this, and now I'm able to set up my next draw. So go to that, and we'll do Fell, Hessel, Mets, and Rolfson. And so now I've got all the teams assigned again, but I've tweaked what what sheets they're playing on. And you can uh, if you have a draw, if you have a buy here, or if this team wasn't able to play this week, then you could you could elongate your schedule and then assign them to another draw. And you can also regenerate any time, but that will wipe out any of the changes that I may have made. But for example, if you come over to the teams and you add another team, and then you add that team to your to your round robin, so now you would have nine teams. Then you would have, then you'd have to obviously schedule them. So you could try to regenerate that and see what you end up with, and then make tweaks to it. Or you could just add, you could just um, place them where you want them to show up because another by adding additional draws or by tweaking where everyone plays. Okay, and that's pretty much it for setting up your draw schedules. And once you've done this. Um, if we go to the preview here and go on the public side, we have a draw schedule tab here. And then, so this this will show your schedule to the public so that um, your curlers will be able to see when they're playing and what sheet they're on. And they can also click add to my calendar, which will open up either your iCal or in Google Cal. And um, if you're using Google Calendar at least, and maybe some of the others like Outlook, I'm not sure, it will pull the server every night and check for updates. So if there's a change in the schedule, then your curlers, depending on what calendar program they're using to subscribe to this to this calendar, they will potentially get those updates in their calendar and, and see when see that their game has been moved or that they're playing a different team. Um, the other thing that's happened is on the public side, we now have a schedule tab up here. So as soon as you've created a draw schedule, we, we will have a schedule up here at the top and then we can see so there's the Wednesday night opens that I scheduled here and so we can skip to the next month and we'll see them and it, and it shows which teams are playing there's also a list view here where we can see what the teams are and we can click on the team on those on this draw schedule in either of these views and that will take us right to the draw schedule for the Wednesday night open so that's pretty much it for scheduling and next time we're going to cover um, standings and scoring your games.